Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is a dry snuff, a nasal snuff review. This is another American product while we wait for the European stuff to arrive from England. So this isn't part of a grouping or whatnot. It just happens that we are having two American products in a row, one last week and then this week. So <clears throat> this particular product is made by American Snuff Company, LLC, headquartered out of Memphis, Tennessee. The makers of Grizzly, Kodiak, Levi Garrett, and others. It is a 1.15 net weight ounce plastic can. It is the can itself is plastic as is the lid. The lid on this just says two bros. All right. So you have now I'll have to look back at last week's review of the Tops product. It seems like the Tops product didn't have as much of a warning label. I don't know if it's my imagination or whatnot, but you got a pretty significant warning label where they've scrunched the front branding, manufacturer's information, and then between the barcode and the warning label going all the way around it, the, the back branding's like... Well, you can see it. Now, as I said, this is a product of American Snuff Company, which you can see their stamp right there. They are headquartered out of Memphis, Tennessee. This product is 44% U.S. tobacco and 56% foreign tobacco. Sale is only allowed in the United States. As you saw, there's a sizable barcode. There is nothing on the bottom. I do not believe any of these dry snuff products have dates on them. And I don't see why they would, because when they say dry snuff, they mean dry. It's dry stuff. I can't see an issue with it losing moisture content. So, it's just occurred to me that, I don't know how I'm going to open this, because I don't have a thumbnail on my right hand. Wow, that's really far down there. All right, their lid is... Let me see if I can... Their lid is halfway down the two bros. I, you know what? I'm wondering now if I've had an American snuff, dry snuff. Let me see if I can get through this here. So while I'm working on this, I am going to link... Um, for these like one-off products that can't really be linked back to a previous review, I am going to start linking monetized content. Tonight, at the end of this, there will be a link to the Bubblicious um, review. That is because although the channel is in excellent standing with product right now, that's not open, uh, I do want to get ahead of the game to stave off any problems down the road. All right, and the Bubblicious, I don't know if people just didn't get the, didn't get the message about, I'm working on this with a knife now, um, the change up off of Saturdays, but it's not got the viewership I thought it would. Okay, and it's open, so let's get this off the top. Wow, this is a really deep lid. Holy crap. It's really deep. It's very sturdy, though, when it's on there. And the product is looking not as washed out as the Swisher products, which is good. It's, it's not the darkest of browns. But compared to, like, Railroad Mills and the tops of last week, there is a lot more brown color in it. I like that the washed out, it just looks washed out. I mean, in what scenario is washed out a good thing? So that's what it's looking like. Of course, under this light here, it's probably looking lighter than it actually is. 
I'm going to try to smell this without actually inhaling it. It's got the usual, the usual um, smell, which again, I said it last week, without you trying this yourself, there's nothing I could do to explain to you what this stuff smells like. There is no scent, okay, number one. None of these, not even the sweet ones, the sweet ones, they're not flavored or scented with anything, okay? They're just plain Jane tobacco that may be a little bit sweeter if you put it in your mouth. Now, again, on this, warning, this product may cause mouth cancer. I'm going, I don't know how I'm going to do this either because my snuff spoon is already taken elsewhere. So we may be, now when this, I say this stuff is fine. This is actually clumping a little bit. Sometimes it's so fine that it actually just, it's almost like it's magnetic. So I'm just going to take out two tiny bits, which are probably going to be way too much no matter what I try to do here. This is going to end up the same way. I will be pausing when it goes that way. Wow, this stuff's sort of weird. So it's almost so fine, so ridiculously fine, that it almost clings to itself in sort of like a magnetic fashion. So I'm just going to do two tiny, tiny little bits here, and I am going to cover this up. I still can't get over how deep this lid is. And I am sure there's a pause coming here. Now, this is not noted as sweet or anything, so. Oh, wow. <sighs> Significant. Nicotine hit. Yeah, I'm going to start here. I'm just going to pause it now. Oh, geez. I wonder, wonder how this review is going to turn out. It turns out the same freaking way every time. And I am back. So, the two bros is no joke. Like... No joke. Um, the only other American product where I got a nicotine hit like that, well, I'm, I'm guessing it's a nicotine hit, was the uh, U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company's Bruton um, had a hit like that. What it didn't have, and the Two Bros does have, it has a burn. Like, you saw how, how small the allotment was. I mean, I, I am not a daily user of nasal snuff. So, especially with dry products like this going into it, I try to limit the damage. Okay, so you saw how small that was. There was a significant nicotine hit off that. Uh, now, as I said, the Bruton, which is another review on this playlist, all dry snuff reviews, no matter grouping, no matter what, are all on one playlist. The Bruton didn't have this burn though. That this stuff was like I, I don't I don't I don't know if I hit it wrong or I mean it was like ugh, my eyes were watering like more than usual. The stuff is extremely fine. If you use this in the nose, you want to be careful how hard you inhale. Man, I'm still. You, you, you need to be careful because what you'll do is it's so fine and so light that go a little bit too hard, it's hitting the back of your throat and you're going to get a drip. And drips are not, not the most pleasant of things when it comes to nasal snuff. It's real easy to take this up too far. If you go too light, 
and you have to upshift, which is you take it and then you realize that it's not really up there. So you have to do a second inhale from, you already have it in your nose. You're doing a second inhale to get it up farther. You're shifting it up. You want to be careful with that too. Again, real easy. This stuff is really fine. And all of these products, American products, with the exception of that checkerberry, are extremely dry. You get extremely dry, extremely fine, and it's very easy. Like, I always make sure before I start sneezing, when I take it, to get the cap on. You, you put enough air at your mouth on this, the whole can is going airborne. All right? So keep those things in mind. Um, I originally, before I bought this, this past week, I originally thought Two Bros was a Swisher product. I, you know, I, I am not extremely well versed in nasal stuff, but doubly so with American products. And I always thought for some reason that this was a Swisher product. Swisher product, all these products with the exception of the checkerberry, are sort of the same, okay? This one is not claiming to be sweet. Usually the sweet ones, nasally, you can't tell the difference anyway, all right? You can tell them, though, if you put it in your lip, which I'm gonna do right now. I think I'm just gonna pinch it. The problem with using the Prillis, the, 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 the loose snooze Prillis, is you put too much in most of this stuff with the exception of the Bruton sort of marbles over and you end up with basically sort of like a pebble in your lip with no saliva working through it which really doesn't do you any good so I'm going to do what I did last week and just pinch this and see what the flavor is like on this Not really noticing much of anything. The top, the tops last week, it did have flavor. The Bruton by U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company definitely has flavor. Pretty strong flavor, considering. And I used a Prelis on that one, so technically... I'm not really, I'm not really tasting anything, um, which, you know, is not great, but on the other hand, it's not, I'm not tasting something god awful either. Getting this stuff out of the mouth is a pain in the butt. I mean, you basically have to rinse it out. Uh, It doesn't create a lot of saliva. You're not going to start juicing up or whatnot, which is sort of good because if you juice up too much with this stuff, it would basically liquefy in your mouth. Um, also, with the being so fine, so dry, these in the in their defense, the American products are probably about as close as you're going to get to something dissolving in your nose not having to blow it out and reapply. If you leave it long enough, and I don't see why you would be doing this one particularly every few minutes, there's no need. I am still sort of feeling the nicotine from taking that. It's really sort of extraordinary. Um, I know people that do dry snuff, that they do it, and then they just do more. And, they just, and they're saying, they say that it sort of dissolves. In fact, I think I've heard Dirty Pat Walsh mention it or in some wording. And I'm like, huh? Because I personally have to blow it out before I do more. Every once in a while, I'll do more on top of the first one. But then I have to blow both of them out. Like, it doesn't go anywhere with me. It just builds up. This stuff, though, I have a feeling... 
it might just sort of dissolve and go away. It's that fine. I'm not getting any flavor, though. I got to know there's something right there. So, to wrap it up, um, it, it, it's got a standout nicotine hit. Uh, I'll give it that. I, I'm thinking that was nicotine. I only started feeling a little jumpy. I'm not really noticing anything in the mouth, but I still feel a little bit jumpy. So maybe I'm adding to the initial. It's been 10 minutes now. Well, almost 10 minutes since I took it nasally. It's got a standout nicotine hit. I like the fact that it has a little bit of color. It's actually brown. Um, the packaging is very sturdy. And now all these packages are sort of the same, but having that really deep lid like that, that is what well, the can is showing you how deep that lid is. That is a good thing with this stuff because you do not want a lid coming off. Now it does have a little rib that goes around sort of like, it's sort of like a dip can only elongated and smaller. I'm not getting anything from the mouth, but the nicotine hit taking it nasally was not expected. So thumbs up on that. Thumbs up on the packaging. The packaging is it, it, it's it's good packaging. The deep lid is a good thing. Um, you know, as far as what the pack like the 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 sticker or plastic or whatever you want to say it doesn't really uh, you know it, when with these warning labels on a lot of this stuff when you get a package that's this small like it's not much they can do uh, i'll show you what this is okay so you know whatever i'm you know I, i'm not a, a one for the only thing that really bothers me with warning labels is on top of dip cans. That's the only thing that really bothers me. All in all, this one did run me a little bit more than last week's tops because it's not from Swisher. Uh, it was a shade over $7. And that would be for me if I were to keep using it, which will not happen. Uh, most likely... A year supply if you were dipping it like I just did again probably a month supply anyway that is that this has been the review of two bros scotch snuff from American snuff company standout nicotine hit uh, good color and I like the packaging the deep lid I am the Soon Tide Dip and Chew Guy. If you see a video popping up somewhere here, Bubblicious Bubblegum, I'd appreciate it if you just waited the five seconds to skip through the ad and then watch maybe a couple minutes of the video, even if you're not overly interested. Monetization of those videos is how I am funding tobacco. So that is that. I do hope you are all well. Do take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.